if you've ever run out of iCloud or Google Drive storage, or you just want to back up your files locally, it might be time for you to own your own cloud. And that's exactly what this Ugreen NAS is designed to do. Today, I'll walk you through what a NAS is and five reasons you might want to get one. Now, this Ugreen NAS DH2300 makes backing up and accessing your files from anywhere easy, even if you're a beginner. If you're not familiar with the NAS or network attached storage, it is basically a mini server with hard drives that lives on your network to back up and access your data. Or you can use it to stream media from. It's meant to feel as simple as using iCloud or Google Drive, but without having a monthly subscription to it. I just upgraded my iCloud for two more terabytes is $10 a month because my family takes a ton of photos and videos. I mean, here's a little cost breakdown of buying a NAS versus paying continuously for cloud storage. These five reasons apply to a NAS in general, but we're also gonna take a look at the Ugreen NAS DH2300 because today's video is sponsored by Ugreen. So I'll put links down in the description along with a 20% off code. Reason number one to get a NAS is to have a reliable and awesome automatic backup. You can set up all your devices so that they automatically back up to your NAS. And you can even access them locally. You don't need an internet connection since it's on your home network. Now, this is useful if uh, you accidentally delete a file, you can grab it back from your NAS. Or you have a device fail and you can restore your files back from the NAS. A NAS uses multiple hard drives. Like this one has Two hard drives built in. Something to note, this NAS does not come with hard drives. You have to buy those separately. And I'll put a link in the description that shows all the compatible hard drives because there's a large selection of hard drives that work with this NAS. What's nice about that is you can pick how, whatever size hard drives you want. And we'll get more into that in a moment. Now you could set up a NAS so that it takes advantage of the combined storage of the two hard drives, which this can do up to 60 terabytes. Or you can do what I do, which is use RAID 1. And RAID 1 will save your data on each of the hard drives. So in the event you have a hard drive failure, you pop it out, you put a new hard drive in its place, and then the other hard drive will copy it over. So you have a backup to your backup. Now to manage the NAS, you would use the Ugreen NAS app, which is available on iOS, Android, Mac OS, Windows, and uh, from the web. You could bring your phone next to the NAS and using NFC, it'll quickly take you to the Ugreen NAS app download page. Using that, you can set up the NAS, you can schedule the backups, or you can have it use, do a continuous backup. Like you could use this with Apple's Time Machine so it's just continuously backing up your Mac. Then if something goes wrong, you can always restore from that. I have mine set up so that it's uh, backing up my computer using Time Machine. And then if I do delete a file, I can roll back and grab that file and put it back on there. You can use the Ugreen NAS to automatically back up your photos or your family members' photos. Reason number two is to create your own cloud. And you're able to access your files from anywhere. You don't need to be home on your network. You can use the Ugreen NAS app or a web browser and be able to grab files outside your house on any of your devices. You can share files with other people or folders with other people. Nice thing with the NAS is you have way more storage and no monthly subscription. You can upload and download files and really the only difference from a cloud service is that it's on your hardware uh, locally and you control it. Here's an example where I uploaded a file from my computer to the NAS and then I'm able to just grab that file using my phone. Nice thing about backing up files with the NAS is that it's substantially faster than other cloud services. Here's an example. Here's a 3.8 gigabyte file going into Google Drive and here it is going into the NAS. Right now it says 52 minutes left on Google Drive and it's already at 17% on the NAS. We're almost done here, 99%, 3.8 gigabytes and Google Drive, we still have another 39 minutes. 
Reason number three for NAS is media streaming. You can upload movies, TV shows, photos, and music to the NAS and be able to access them on other devices. So you can use an app like Plex and be able to watch movies from the NAS onto, on your phone. You can also use the Ugreen NAS app to be able to access your media right through its media player. It is nice to have the option to back up your photos, movies, and music, and be able to access them right from the, the Ugreen NAS app and its media player, so you don't have to use a different app to access that stuff. Uh, one of the things I use uh, my NAS for is to back up family videos and uh, Christmas movies. So when the holidays come around, I don't need to pull out the Blu-ray player to play Christmas movies. I can stream it right from the NAS. Reason four to get a NAS is for the privacy, security, and local storage. You control your files. So instead of them living on some, some other company's server, you just have them locally. And you could set up the NAS so that it has multiple users. And they can all save their files. So family members can save all of their stuff and it is, still stays private because you can set up different users. But each of those users can uh, share files or set up folders with different permissions. So you can set up a shared folder if you want and dump family uh, photos into there so anybody in the family can grab it. You know, I could get some of the cool photos my wife takes and she could get the ones I take and yeah, makes it easy. With the Album Assistant, it can intelligently identify and create AI albums. With the AI Assistant, you could create family albums. You could use smart tags to quickly find people or places. You can even search for text found within images. It's nice you have complete control over these AI features and they're all handled locally on device. So you can choose to turn on people recognition, text recognition, have it look for duplicate photos, or the scene and object recognition. So you have the different user accounts, you could set different permissions for the folders, you can use encryption with it, and with the Ugreen NAS app, you could take advantage of two-factor authentication. Reason number five for a NAS is that they're expandable and future-proof. So you can start off small and just get a single hard drive for it, or like I have here, I have two uh, four ter terabyte drives. And you can use a three and a half inch drive or two and a half inch drive. But later on, I can update these drives. So as hard drive prices come down, I can always upgrade the storage. Yeah, you know, I can do up to 60 terabytes. So when 30 terabyte drives are cheaper, I can uh, buy one then. It's going to give me way more storage without paying a monthly subscription. I mean, there's no way you're gonna pay for 60 terabytes of cloud storage. That would be so expensive. A great thing about having a NAS is that not all my files are gonna fit on my computer. You know, I've offloaded almost a terabyte of family photos and videos over the years. And you could put them on a little hard drive, but if that fails on you, those memories are gone. But you set this up so that it's in RAID 1 and the hard drives are backing each other up. You have larger hard drives and in the event of a failure, you don't lose all those memories. When it comes to file storage, I'm an Apple user and Mac prices are crazy when it comes to upgrading to larger hard drives. And same with the, the phone. So. There's no way I'm ever gonna be able to keep all my files on my devices and I'm not gonna pay the ridiculous amount uh, for the cloud storage. So a NAS is a great alternative. It's nice having the flexibility so you can start off with smaller, more affordable drives. And then as needed, you can always increase the amount of storage. Now, who is this NAS good for? Uh, basically, families who wanna back up everyone's devices and have it do it regularly. I know there's no way my wife and daughters are gonna think about uh, doing a backup, but you could I could schedule it for them so it does it automatically. They're great for content creators. I want to keep all my footage from my videos and my projects. 
But again, there's no way I'm going to put it on my computer. It would eat up so much of my hard drive space. So I just offload them onto the NAS. I can access the different projects right from the NAS. I don't necessarily need to bring them over to my computer because it's plenty fast enough just to open the project right on the NAS. So I can grab footage that I need out of a project. A NAS is great for people who want to keep their files locally and not have to pay for a cloud subscription or pay the bare minimum for a cloud subscription. So it does some of your backups, but a majority of your files can be backed up locally. There you go, five reasons uh, to get a NAS. If you wanna check out the Ugreen NAS DH2300, I'll put links down in the description along with a code that will save you 20%. So go check it out. Are you using a NAS? If so, are there any good uses that I missed? Let us know in the comment section. Now, if you made it this far, please consider subscribe and check out future videos if you can give this one a thumbs up definitely helps the channel out next check out one of these videos over here there's some good stuff i'll see you over there thanks for watching bye